What's up, boys? Call sign Grammy here, and welcome to a DCS server review video. I decided to do this video in hopes that I could shine some light on a variety of different servers out there available to anyone in the community to jump into, especially if you're newer to the DCS game in the community. It can be very overwhelming and trying to figure out how servers work, which are ones that are suited for you. Do you want a very realistic experience? Do you want something that you can find that's just uh, new for you to get into and learn? And there's a wide range of servers, both public and even private ones as well, that are available. And we're gonna start here at Ground Zero, the very popular FOIA training servers. Now there's a ton of information within the announcements and the server updates and DCS news. You've got general chats where you can mingle with other people in the community. Uh, they update everything in here so you know what's going on with the server itself as far as the status. So you can kind of see all right here. And they have a variety of different servers, both in the US, in the EU, um, where you can get involved in. They have aerobatics, they have PVE, caucus map, Nevada map, Persian Gulf map. There's a South Atlantic map. They've got it all covered both on the open beta servers and then on the current stable release version of DCS. However, the vast majority of people are playing on the open beta uh, version of DCS, which is why people are playing on the open beta servers as well. Not only do they have PVE, uh, and aerobatics, but they also have some PVP servers where you can start to hone in your skills going against another actual person as well. And so there's a ton that they offer for anyone that is new to explore, to get into, and uh, a great system here for getting help. You can make recommendations through their, uh, their server system and everything, and you can also find some other people to fly with if you wanna go in there with someone else. All right, and welcome to the actual foyer servers. We're in the uh, US PVE training server and uh, we've already got some enemy targets out in front of us. And so we're gonna go ahead and start working these guys. They just literally took off from the base here. We're gonna cover this map here in a second, kind of explain what, why it looks like that and how to interpret all this stuff. Cause you know, if you're new to this, you're gonna just gonna see a whole lot of stuff everywhere on the map and it can be very overwhelming so we're going to just kind of find these targets here they're low to the ground i'm not going to lock them just yet i don't want them to know that i am trailing them but we're just going to kind of get in there a little bit sneak in behind them oh, one turn towards us so he knows we're, we're following them lost the lock on them we'll break Where's he at? He's going defensive. One's done. I think one is coming from behind us. Lost visual on him. It's not good. Where's he at? Is he behind me? No, he's out in front of me somewhere. Where is he? There he is right there. Altitude. Altitude. Got visual. Turning in on him. There we go. We're off. It's going defensive. We didn't hit him. It's okay, we're turning into him. He's gonna circle us. Okay. We're gonna just pull back on a little bit. Pull back, pull back, come on. Bleeding air, bleeding air, which is fine. I'm just trying to get a shot here. He knows we're on him too. Okay, okay, okay. Altitude. He's still circling around. Is he gonna cross in front of us? Altitude. No, not yet, not yet. Altitude. We might get a shot right here. He's gonna swing right in front of us. Missed it. It's going vertical. This might be it right here if we can swing around. I think we got him right here. 
There it is. Bam. There it is. Splash tool. All right. Little fun action. Really, really good to hone in your skills. I'm nowhere near as good as many other people when it comes to air to air. I like the ground pound personally. However, every now and again, I like to get in here and just fly around and uh, kind of just hone my skills in the uh, air to air realm. And uh, at that point, let's go ahead and talk about what you're looking at here on the map and kind of how to go about uh, understanding the FOIA server here as it's a, what, a really good place to start for beginners here. So here's a broad view of what you're seeing here on the F10 map. As you notice here, uh, what FOIA server does is it shows you everything, all the enemy points, all the enemy air, ground, and this is done on purpose because it's a training server in order to help you identify targets and just practice your repetitions and your mechanics with your bombing runs or your air to air. But you can use this to punch in coordinates on your uh, on your aircraft so you can make those target points make those waypoints to fly through and then focus on those targets and this is all about helping you just hone in those skills in that aircraft that you're flying now while everyone in the server is generally training and kind of honing in these skills there is a broader mission it's not like you just come in and do whatever everyone is working towards a bigger goal which is to eliminate all the enemy forces from every base so if you look in here you've got an actual air base here a Glensic, you want to capture that. You get the idea. So when the server's full with people, everyone is working every airbase to eliminate all the targets and then it becomes a friendly. So then you can begin to launch from that location and uh, and you keep advancing through the entire map until everything's wiped and then it resets. And that's how the server plays over and over. And it's all about repetition here to just hone in your skills in the aircraft and uh, it's a great starting ground for a lot of people. So you might be wondering, Grimy, what are some of the downsides to the server? Good, I'm glad you asked that because no server is perfect. I would say one of the downsides to this server is that when it is packed and it will be packed, especially in the evening's US uh, time zone, uh, it'll be near capacity, if not at capacity. And one of the biggest issues you'll have and you'll run into is uh, you're making your way to a target point and in particular, if you're in a Hilo or a slower flying jet like a Harrier or an A-10, it takes a lot more time to get on target. And by the time you get ready to get on target and you're like, all right, I'm ready to drop this payload and, and you know, do my thing. F-16s will inevitably roll in and dump the entire site. And just before you get there and you've just wasted 20 minutes flying from wherever you took off to that location for your bombing run and it can get very disheartening and annoying but that's just kind of the nature of the beast because everyone in here it gets filled up and uh th there isn't always like a common courtesy and frankly another downside is people by and large don't use uh the voice comms srs to communicate stuff very rarely and most people will utilize it for their landing and takeoffs but when they're conducting operations if they're firing on targets, no one's making call outs so everyone knows what's going on. And I think that's a lot of the reason why people will run into issues with, uh, you know, flying everywhere and then having someone else come in and obliterate that target um, in a fast moving jet, like F-16 primarily, F-18s as well. They have a, you know, carry a pretty exp uh, extensive payload and they just wipe out an entire site that you were planning and made a long flight to and it doesn't work out. So. We've got another en enemy right here. There he is. We got one off. Give us, give us that splash. Give us that splash. Boom, done. Splash, bad guy. All right, looks like we got friendly right there. We're gonna come up on the six. We gotta conserve our gas. <laughs> We got 1,400 pounds of gas left. We're gonna have to make this work. All right, there we go. They're way up there too. Driving down hard. They're going defensive. I'm going defensive. We might get hit right now. Let's take a look. They have to be shooting at us. We're low fuel. We're gonna go out in a blaze of uh, glory, boys. Bam, splash. Splash, splash, splash. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
All right, so there it is, the FOIA training server experience. They have servers in the US and the EU, a couple different regions. They have PVE, they also have PVP as well. So a lot of options that's provided absolutely free. Just join in their Discord. You uh, can ask people questions. You can jump in here and experience this for yourself. If you're new, newer, or if you're learning a new aircraft, it's a great server to get into so that you can practice everything. Uh, learn the game, learn the mechanics, uh, try out that new aircraft, dial it all in, and then more, go into more advanced, uh, more realistic, semi-realistic uh, multiplayer servers, or even missions to put everything you've learned into you know, a real case use, uh, at least in the simulated experience, if you will, all right? That's all I got for you in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, call sign, grind me out.